We invented a lot of stuff on that show. We invented Gomer. We invented all the people who lived in the mountains, the Darling family, Ernest T. Bass. We invented all those characters. Tell us about where you got the idea for Gomer. Uh, Gomer. Well, uh, I was, uh, we were going to do a show in which we introduced Wally, a new character, the, the mechanic. And they were very careful about hiring this actor who was going to be Wally. And then before, one day while we were working, I was on my way someplace and I got low on gas and I stopped for gas and this kind of simple-minded guy waited on me and uh, I said, I don't know what's going on here. It, it says, uh, it says full, but it seems to be empty. And he said, well, sometimes you'll get an F when it's an E. And I said, this guy should be on the on the Griffith Show. And uh, so when I went back and started working with Jim again, uh, we and, and Aaron, we suggested that, that we have a guy who works in the gas station uh, who was kind of simple-minded. And uh, we gave him a name. Gomer came from Gomer Cool, who was a comedy writer. And uh, Pyle came from Denver, who was an actor on the show. And uh, Andy had gone to a place called The Horn and seen Jim Neighbors do his act. And he thought he'd be good on the show. And uh, well, I had never seen Jim Neighbors. So when we wrote it, I used as a pattern, as a voice pattern, uh, pa Kettle. You remember Ma and Pa Kettle? Percy Kilbride. Mm -hmm. I don't make the rules, you know. A cow's got to have salt. Good news, Mr. Fuller. We struck mud. Well, that was the pattern that I used. And then in Jim Neighbor's mouth, it turned into something completely different, and it was very good. Different how? Well, he made a, a Jim Neighbor's character out of it. Uh, just his rhythms took these lines, and we never showed him how, how it sounded when we were writing it, and it fit. Did he audition for the part? Maybe he did. Uh, we weren't treated marvelously on that because... Uh, after a few weeks, uh, they decided without telling us that there would be a Jim Neighbors show, a Gomer Pyle show. And one day we were at one of our regular meetings and Jim Neighbors came in and said to me, is it going on or isn't it going on? I said, there's what going on? And that's how I found out that there was a Gomer Pyle show. Did the Writers Guild protect you on that? They had very... T Weak rules. We got uh, $200 each time it was on for six times. And other people became millionaires.